Hello guys! <laughs> oh my god, so many games, so many gaming goodness! <laughs> How's it going guys? I was just uh, chilling in my uh, Pokemon tent, as you do. <laughs> How'd you like it? It's badass! <laughs> I bought this off uh, a local friend, Carboot Dan, a uh, guy who I met at the car boots, and uh, obviously we, we just keep in touch like if uh, we grab anything gaming related, you know, to do any sales or trades, whatever, so uh, yeah, he sold me this and um, I'm surprised he even like parted with it really because um, he's like a big Pokemon fan but um, he knows that I collect um, not only Pokemon cards but I, I do collect 90s Pokemon stuff so massive shout out to Carboot Dan for this amazing find like I looked on eBay you literally I don't know where on earth you can source one of these so this is the uh, packaging Pokemon pop-up play tent um, just trying to find yeah, it says, um, 1998? It says, uh, 95, 96 and 98 on them. They can have a few dates on them, really. But, uh, yeah, it's so cool, man. Freaking love it. So, yeah, I'll show you the different sides of it. I think you've got, like, Pikachu, Charmander and Squirtle on it. Let's have a look. So, obviously, Pikachu. you got Squirtle there. That's just the back bit. There's, like, a... It's even got a door. A back door, guys, and it's got nice little windows as well. I got charm under there. It's freaking badass, guys. Okay, so it's recently Easter as well, so um, I'll show you my Easter pickups. <laughs> so I'm, I'm only just showing you like really quickly. So some um, not official Cadbury's, um, you know, them uh, egg and spoon things. So there's some like unbranded ones, but apparently they're pretty nice. Um, a Maltese uh, Easter bunny, but there's only about. Oh, there's three bunnies left, there's the driver and there's like two passengers, so it's on a little, uh, like a little Fortnite bus, you know how it goes through the sky. <laughs> I've been drawn into the Fortnite hype, by the way, I've been playing Fortnite. Um, it is really good, but to be honest, I do prefer PUBG, I, I play both and I love both of them, but I think um, sometimes, honestly, the, the building in Fortnite winds me up, like, because in PUBG it's just straight up shooting, and that's what I love, but it's like, if you shoot at some people on Fortnite, they're just literally... It's part of the game, though. That's part of how you play the game, you know. They uh, just build build buildings and forts around, you know what I mean? You just uh, you struggle to get them, and then... You know what I mean? They, they build higher ground, like they build ramps, and then they just slaughter you once they have higher ground, so it's pretty hard. Um, I don't know, I do really enjoy it, but like I said, I just have my rage moments where uh, people, you know, like, outbuild me. <laughs> so it does my head in. I already ate the cream egg from that. Just got the egg left. Um, let's have a look. Got a Pokemon one, obviously, because I love Pokemon. <laughs> you don't get any um, like figure or pick up in this, I'm afraid. It's only just pure chocolate. And then I'm sure lots of gamers have got one of these. Give me a shout in the comments if you've got one of these, guys. It is a heat changing mug. I actually. I actually should have made my cup of tea in that. I should have. Uh, but yeah, I haven't opened it yet because I just wanted to, like. Um, yeah, just show you guys to be honest. So it was only about two ninety nine from B and M. So I got a handful for um, like friends, <laughs> and uh, obviously uh, one for me as well. And uh, yeah, the last Easter egg. I thought this was badass. It's uh, a pot noodle one. Obviously, every gamer snacks on pot noodles. They're like one of the ultimate gaming snacks. So unhealthy for you. So gamer. So cool. <laughs> and this comes with um, yeah, like a. A proper cup and it's like obviously you can use it for a hot drink but it is designed like obviously once you've made your pot noodle to pop it in there so you know i'm gonna need the packaging just pop it straight in the mug so that would be great that'll be so good for now pot noodles now <laughs> and this is also you could say this is a pickup i got this from uh, primark primarni for six pounds so cannot go wrong with a crash bandicoot t-shirt uh yeah it's his remastered look but still really cool still awesome okay guys on to the gaming related stuff um i'm gonna hit a console straight at you guys <laughs> this was a little while ago where i picked this up with some credit really nice nick box to be honest it's got a little dent on the top but um yeah obviously sega saturn and this is the like is it the first model i think it's the the first model of the saturn this is i think anyway i could be wrong <laughs> I'm just talking gibberish, um, but yeah, I used to have a Sega Saturn when I was uh, a kid, and I literally, oh sorry for that brightness, um, it's off my uh, lighting things, <laughs> uh, I used to have a Sega Saturn as a kid, um, 
But I literally, I only had like a handful of games for it. The only ones I can remember are uh, Virtua Fighter um, 1 and 2, I think, and uh, Alien Trilogy. I can't remember any other ones that I had for it. Um, I really did not have many games at all. So, um, yeah, this was awesome to pick one of these up. And, uh, yeah, it's in really good nick. It's got the inserts and stuff. Um, obviously, the console is not in it at the minute. It's down there because I've been, like, playing on it. Made loads of pickups for the Sega Saturn. And uh, I would love to go for a full PAL set as well. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm working towards. It'll take me a while, but I'll get there one day. It's one of my gaming goals, obviously. Uh, yeah, all the inserts are there. And let me have a look. Yeah, I can fold this out. Nice little tray there with the Sega Saturn console manual. So, really nice, guys. Really nice, Nick. So, yeah, like I said, uh, I used uh, trade credit towards that. I'll put it back later. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, my God, I've got stuff all over the place. This That was from a local shop, um, and it's now, um, like, relocated, so it's closed now. Um, and in the closing down sale, it also had, like, a, a Lego part to it, um, like... So yeah, some games, but it's mainly a Lego shop, and um, they had like 20% off Lego stuff, so I grabbed this. Um, it's a Pokeball, <laughs> made out of Lego, because obviously I love Pokemon. So I just thought that was really cool. And on eBay, I've actually seen, um, you know our Ash and Pikachu look when you play on the Game Boy, you know, pixelated. Uh, I've seen a frame that I think is a bit bigger than this, and it's got Ash and Pikachu in. Uh, it's about 30 quid on eBay, I've been really tempted, but... I might actually, I might make my own out of Lego, I think, maybe. And obviously get another frame, make it look like this, and uh, put it next to this. So, just nice little uh, Pokemon thing, you know, for the Pokemon shelf. So, proper cool. I love it. Freaking love it. Oh, that is my childhood Pokemon on the Game Boy. Want to see something sealed, guys? Want to see something sealed? I'll give you sealed. Freaking Tomb Raider 3 memory card. Look at that. Look at that. How cool is that? <laughs> uh, one of my friends said, oh yeah, she's got big boobs on the memory card. It's like, well, yeah, she's got to have room for all them game saves. Them game saves, man, look at that. That's so cool. I just really love it. Really cool. Um, it's part of the um, character memory card collection for the PS1. I haven't seen any others, really, though. I haven't seen any others with characters on. I've, I've even searched it on... Um, eBay, I think there's a special like Metal Gear Solid one, but it's not got like snake on it or anything. <laughs> Remember that when you when your thing would go off, you knock your 3310, and it'd be like snake, snake, snake. <laughs> Freaking love that memories, man. I need to jump back on that game. I remember playing uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, but it just confused me too much. I mean, I might like get into it now, or well, maybe, but maybe my game skills weren't quite up to scratch i just uh i couldn't get used to it just getting around everywhere but first one loved it absolutely loved it i played the demo to death as well years ago so yeah this beastie booty lara has 15 blocks of memory so this will not be getting opened it's just literally to have on display because i am after um like a it was, I think it was out during the ps1 era like just a, a nice lara croft figure like uh, on a stand and stuff and uh, so I've, I've really wanted one of them for ages. So hopefully I can get one and then uh, stand this up next to it. So lovely little find. This was uh, £13 all in off the gaming group on Facebook. Proper cool. All right. On to some games, guys. I haven't even showed you any games yet. All right. Let's have a look. I've got a little, like, PS1 haul and uh, a few other games mixed in. Okay, probably saw a Dreamcast game just then. Choo Choo Rocket on the Dreamcast. Car boot, Dan had this, um, and he didn't want it. Um, so he just sold me it for a quid, because uh, I think CX do it for a quid. I think they do it for like the same price. It's got the Dream Key um, CD in there. I think that's to do with the internet, isn't it? Got the manual as well. Obviously, I only collect Box and Complete anyway, but... They're right weird, these Dreamcast cases. So prone to breaking as well. So prone. Um, this one was part of a Facebook swaps and sales pickup. It was basically, I got like, uh, it was like a 2DS, like actual console. I've not got it anymore. Uh, I think I traded it to see. Yeah, it's got 2DS, load of DS games, and Luigi's Mansion. And I think, I looked and I think like I, um, 
I'm sure CEX gave like £40 for the actual 2DS console and I literally just, I only wanted Luigi's Mansion 2 on the 3DS. It was part of the bundle. There was no other good games there, no high end whatsoever. Just obviously DS kiddie games, you know, you know the deal, how that is. Um, so yeah, um, I traded all that in and literally I got my money back. I think I got like over 40, 50 quid or something like for trading all those in and that was cash as well. So, uh, yeah, I got that for basically nothing, so I was really happy. I used to have it years ago. I had this years ago, but when I was, like, clueless and um, just not, you know, the collector I am today, I was just like, uh, sell it on. But I shouldn't have done. These couple of games, these was uh, £24 for both of them, but I was really disappointed. I mean, that, it was, that was cheap for both of these games, but... I'm disappointed with the condition on one of them, so I'm gonna sell it on uh, probably when I get a mint version of it, a, a nice version of it. So we've got Evil Dead Hail to the King, and we have Jackie Chan at Stuntmaster. But yeah, it's really rough this, to be honest, it's really rough. I'll show you like the condition and stuff. That's not quite... I probably need to like straighten that out, to be fair. Um, for some reason, that's not... it's not quite long enough. You know at the bottom, if you can see, there's obviously a gap there quite ripped at the top you can see like it's torn um, and then um, obviously there's like some shop sticker and that's not on the case it's on the inside and I've, I've tried giving it a little tear but it's gonna rip the uh, it's gonna rip the inlay the back cover um, I took one off there well actually no the the previous owner actually took that off because uh, I said is there any stickers and stuff on it but yeah I, I don't know it just really wasn't, uh, wasn't very well described and whatever, and uh, yeah, manual's rough as well. That's that's got a sticker on. So it, this this copy of Jackie Chan's stunt match, the uh, master, it's literally just been wrecked by previous store stickers, pretty much. And I don't know why, but it's just that that back cover's puzzling me how short it is and why there's you know gaps and whatever, and the front inlay as well really weird but i don't want to like give up this copy yet until like i've got a mint version because obviously the game's still in here it's just the condition um so i'd rather keep it uh, for the minute you know obviously just so i can play through the game and uh when i pick up a better condition this will be going this will be out the door out the door you're out of here <laughs> evil dead this is beautiful condition it's lovely but like i said both of them for 24 quid can't go wrong really i got it cheap enough uh hefty manual Weighs about as much as me. Hefty manual. Look at that. Chunky but funky. <laughs> it's got both discs in as well. Two disc game. Uh, it does look really good. I've not played it yet. I literally say that about every single game. Pretty much every single game I'm going to show you. I'm going to be like, I haven't got around to playing it yet. Because that's what always happens. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm a gamer and a collector. I'm literally... You know, some people say, like, oh, I'm mainly a collector. I just jump on the odd game. But I'm literally 50-50, like collect and play but it's just obviously finding the time but i've watched um on the cinemasca channel um it was james and one of his friends playing uh, evil dead hail to the king it looks really good so i've got this um it was just in a bundle this in some bundle i stumbled across uh, on the swaps and sales so yeah it just looks fun i haven't tried it out yet but i've got um Tom and Jerry War of the Whiskers on uh, the PS2. I've got that one and I, I've had a little go at that. That's really fun. I remember seeing that on Gamesville. Old Sky One TV show. There's footage on it of it still on YouTube as well. So, uh, yeah. It might be fun. Might be fun. <laughs> I find the PS2 uh, one fun. So, uh, yeah, we'll try that out. Uh, these games, there was literally just about... There was only like a couple of quid or three quid each or two fifty each, something like that. Some guy was just selling them uh, on a Facebook group. So, Ronaldo v Football. I know it's a football game, but this is my childhood, man. I played this so much as a kid. So good. And obviously one of the greats, greatest ever footballers. The, um, the Brazilian Ronaldo. Dave Mirror BMX Maximum Remix. I loved this. I played the demo years ago and I've never like actually owned the game. Um, there is a gap there and that is where um, it said the game actually came with a soundtrack and I have tried to source it. Like I've looked on eBay and everything but nothing has got the soundtrack or anything. It does say like plus 313 
track music CD inside. It says it in that top corner, but I've even I've scouted through eBay honestly, and I can't even find one with the soundtrack in. So I thought this is cheap enough. So you know, even if I find one with the soundtrack in one day, I can just get rid of this. You know, sell it on whatever because it's it was only a few quid. So don't mind. Oh, I like the Dave Mirror games. Really fun. This is a really fun game. I suppose you could say it's actually a bit of a maybe a hidden gem. It looks like a, it does look like a bit of a, just a daft little game, but it's really good from what I can remember. It's really cool. Manic 3D rat catching action. 50 plus Fast and Furious levels. So yeah, you literally play as cats, is it? Yeah, because thousands of deadly rats are taken over the earth. Yeah, basically it's got it in the title. Rat attack, yeah. There you go. So yeah, that's a that's a good little game. I used to have that as a kid years ago. I've already got um, 007 Tomorrow Never Dies, so I thought I'll grab World Is Not Enough to go with it. See how it compares and whatever. I'm really hoping uh, you visit some casino where you can play cards. I don't know if that's uh, just strictly part of a mission and you have to win or something. I don't know. It's exciting. <laughs> Could be cool. I don't know if you can just go and play card games at your own leisure, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you all these guys. I I'm after 007 Racing as well. That's a game I'm after. I would like that to go my other PS1 Bond games. Then the last one to go with the first one which I already own is Driver 2. I don't think I ever played it. It's got a couple of cracks to the back of the case but I don't mind. I, I really don't mind because I don't know on my travels you know in the future if I pick up bundles whatever I can take the best cases obviously replace replace these bad ones. So two disc game as well. Oh man guys if you've ever played the first Driver do you ever remember the uh that level the uh, the intro level you know what I mean to before you you become the driver you have to complete all that you know when you're in that empty car park you have to do like uh, test the handbrake do a 180 slalom through the uh, through a load of poles and stuff um, so I'm really hoping you don't have to do that on this <laughs> I think I've got a save of driver one on my memory card from a while ago because my best friend did that for me he did the uh, the intro thing because I, I just lost my shit. <laughs> it was ridiculous, man. It's so bad. Okay, let me move these out of the way. Because I'm proper just... I'm cramming everything on my windowsill. Because <laughs> I'm showing you guys and then I need that space to put them after I've shown them to you. Okay, right. Let's have a look. I've got... A nice Mega Drive haul to show you guys. Proper cool. This I discovered. Um, I just discovered it because Carboot Dan had it in a load of uh, like a bundle of games, but it was not complete with manual. So, like I wasn't interested. Um, so I actually just looked on eBay for this, and uh, yeah, got it off eBay. It just looks like a really fun, uh, like cool puzzler game, and I believe it is also out for the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Um, so like some like coloured things come down and then you have to just like match them with like corresponding colours kind of thing so yeah like basically a colour matching game lovely condition everything it was about 7 99 like all in right now so and I, I just love the artwork honestly loads of um, Mega Drive games their artwork just sells me like I look at it and I'm just like yeah sold proper cool look at that <laughs> picture of a kid playing the game <laughs> it's like uh, like inception proper cool man uh, I have Pele on the uh, Mega Drive I didn't know he had his own game to be honest with you never even knew he had his uh, his game out there we go beast of a manual as well for a beast of a footballer <laughs> yeah I haven't uh, I haven't tried it out yet it looks good though I don't mind the odd football game. They're not all bad, guys. They're not all bad. I mean, I suppose you, you've got to be a football fan anyway to enjoy some of them. But yeah, I thought I'd grab that just because of because it's Pele. Right, this bundle of five games. I got these for a tenner off swaps and sales. Beautiful. Bargain little price. See, it's nice to pick up bargains. Some of the things I show you guys, obviously some of them are bargains. Some of them are CX trade credit purchases, but... Some of them are like, they are like just top end prices or pretty much top end, you know what I've paid for them. So 
It's so good when you score a bargain, it really is. I had to clean these games up though, because um, people I got them off, they're just, uh, they're just like all greasy and stuff, the games, I had to like proper baby wipe them and everything. The only thing, um, it's just the theme park does not have the manual, the rest of them do. So, just a bit disappointing about that, but that's that's absolutely fine. I'm sure I can source the manual somewhere, like I've looked, um, I've looked on eBay and stuff, but no luck yet, but I'm sure one will turn up one day, it's not the rarest game at all. Um, is that zany golf? Yeah, zany golf. Um, I don't know. It, it looks pretty fun. There's, you know, there's food on it. There's burgers. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, Hamburger Hill, that one's called. Okay. It just looks fun. Can't tell you what it's like, but there's food involved, so I like it. I mean, I mean, what the hell? It looks like there's like, uh lasers firing or whatever from like the burger and stuff or i don't know actually i think that's just the momentum from uh from a golf shot or something <laughs> anyway it's got food on it so i like it mega games three this is chunky but funky i think i believe it's got all the manuals in here i think so we've got alien storm thunder super thunder blade and super monaco gp so it'd be nice to get the other uh, mega games as well i can't remember which one has like Streets of Rage and stuff on, but I'd like that one. I would really like that one. Oh my god. They, they really don't design these well, do they? It's hold three manuals. So yeah, they're all there anyway. Super Thunder Blade, Alien Storm, and I'm struggling to pull this out because the other manual's underneath. They really did not think these mega games games through. <laughs> oh my god. Opening my window, it is freaking boiling. Freaking boiling. My hair's not my hair's gone all wavy <laughs> and then a couple of sport games international superstar soccer deluxe yeah they're all shelf fillers anyway out there nhl 97 you can't be these five for a tenner not at all it's great that they're all complete just barring uh barring theme park so yeah um it won't be too hard to source a manual from somewhere um oh these four games um I, I paid like i wouldn't say top end but top end with a few quid knocked off basically so these are a bunch of games that i've been after for ages um road rush one because i've got the third road rush so i wanted the other ones i got the third one in a bundle like months and months ago so yeah it's all good so road rush one Road Rush 2. I don't know which one is the best or anything. I don't know. Yeah, the only one I've played for the Mega Drive is uh, Road Rush 3. The one that I got ages ago. So, yeah, I'll see which one's good. The first ever Road Rush I played, it was actually uh, on the PS1. It was one of them uh, classics games. I need to get the other ones on PS1. Road Rush, like, first one, 3D, and then Road Rush Jailbreak. I want them for the PS1 as well. Um, this just, it just looked cool. <laughs> um, Marco's Magic Football. It had a little bit of uh, marker pen, but it's only on the outside. It's absolutely fine. I don't mind. Because uh, it can just easily be cleaned or uh, replaced. So I don't mind. As long as it's not on the, uh, them inlays. God, I hate shops. They're awful for it. So bad. So yeah. I don't know really what you do on it. Experience the addictive blend of football skills and platform action and obviously I, I do love football so uh, Yeah, it'd just be interesting. I don't know if you use it as a weapon or something. I guess it could be his weapon So yeah, it just looks proper cool. <laughs> I say that about that every game. Looks cool. Looks cool What a Mega Drive classic Altered Beast Altered Beast What a beast of a game it is as well. I've played it before. It's so good. I haven't completed it before though, so yeah, proper happy to own that again. Um, it doesn't bother me too much if the um, cases are missing the hang tabs, I, I don't mind too much because obviously um, if I pick some more up in a bundle, I can just keep the ones with hang tabs, replace these ones, so I don't mind too much at all. Okay, I need to clear some more space. <laughs> Pop these down here. Right guys, I will show you a console, show you a console variant that I got. So, I already own this console, I've got an unboxed version, but um, 
yeah, I just bought one of the uh, variants because I, I, you know, I like collecting them as well. I like collecting the box ones because obviously they're, they're a little badass on display. So what have I got? It is the Street Fighter 2 Turbo uh, variant. So, proper good. It's all complete inside. It's lovely. Console's really nice. There we go, guys. Opened it up a bit to show you. And it's got all the paperwork still really good condition in the uh, in the baggies as well so yeah it's all good i got this and i got something else um so it was 125 pounds not only for this but for something else as well i think it was i think it was about that it could have been about 110 it was somewhere around that <laughs> yeah it was a while ago the uh, Nintendo Soups Scope 6. Yeah, Super NES Nintendo Scope 6. Uh, I don't really know much about it. Obviously, it comes with a game. Um, I've not used it yet because obviously I need, I need an old TV. Is it one of them CRT TVs or something? I need an old one. So, it includes six great games Laser Blazer, Blastris, Blastris A, Blastris B. Okay. Uh, Confront, Mole Patrol. Yeah, I don't know. It's got it's got like eight names down. I don't really know to be fair. But uh, yeah, I mean it looks good, and uh, I've always wanted my own bazooka, you know, RPG rocket launcher. <laughs> Open it up to show you guys. It's all there. Nice with the manuals and everything, the game manual and the scope manual. So yeah, not a bad little bundle to be fair. <laughs> still got so much more to show you guys it's so good um okay right some things that are not games okay what have i got um i actually really ever pick up any cds but when eminem's album revival came out i just had to because uh, eminem is the only artist whose albums i, I got and actually buy as soon as they come out because i just literally want to listen to them like um just in you know like the highest quality obviously that they were recorded in so yeah, I don't like downloading any. I like having the original. So that's a really good album from uh, Eminem, Marshall Mathers. And also, I've got um, like all the Stranger Things CD. I've got um, what have I got? So I've got Volume One, just there. So that's like all, just like all the background music and everything, just the whole you know score of the series. So that's Volume Two. I had to grab that online because we didn't have it in store or anything. Oh no, one. It was that one. I think it might have been that one. I think I had to get that online on eBay because it's really hard to get hold of. I had to get that from abroad. Um, and then that's all of season two soundtrack. And then this is music from seasons one and two of Stranger Things. So it's got like obviously the main ones like Should I Stay or Should I Go, The Police, um, Every Breath You Take, and stuff like that. Toto Africa gonna take a lot to drag me away from you yep and i need to pick up singing lessons <laughs> right these ones i got from cx i think i got most of these from cx actually just with a bit of trade credit doom on the n64 can't beat a bit of doom classic absolute classic and then snowboard kids uh, i haven't ever played that i just picked it up because it was uh in our local store the retro goes so quick in our store. Um, I saw the other day we had um, Tunnel B1 on the Sega Saturn. I mean, it's not like guaranteed to be complete because it was classed as box. This was on the Sega Saturn. It was only a five. I thought oh, I'll go. I'll have to go grab it. But I haven't been able to make it in CX for a couple of days. Went in today and it was gone. <laughs> the retro goes so quick. Tony Hawk's Three. I've already got that on the PS2, but I just want it on the PS1 just because. <laughs> Just literally because for the collection. Because I've already got uh, Tony Ox 1 and 2 on the PS1. However, they're both missing the front inlays. I don't know how all this happened. Like, I've got quite a few PS1 games, you know, that I bought years ago. And loads of them are missing inlays. <laughs> I don't know where they all went. Like, why was I not checking back then? <laughs> I guess I wasn't bothered as a kid, you know, about complete inbox. But now I obviously am. Okay, so got gremlins that was just a pound <laughs> i still haven't got around to watching it it's just i just literally wanted to watch it because it's uh yeah it's an old favorite of mine um i actually popped out my cousin um 
oh it's quite a while ago but um we went to like a really cool shop it sells like pops figures stuff like that and uh, i'll show you a couple of things i grabbed there because uh gremlins reminded me okay i've got a few good bits to show you actually i've got so much to show you guys okay so speaking of gremlins i got a nice little gizmo <laughs> i think it's one of them uh, necca ones you know like I, th I think you pronounce it NECA, N-E-C-A, you know, like a, I don't know, is it like a brand or an event or something? Because um, this other thing I'm about to show you, that's like classed as NECA as well, N-E-C-A, that's how you spell it. I don't know exactly what it means, if it's a brand or uh, event, but you see like NECA, like toys and figures at like Comic Cons and whatever. So really cute little gizmo, I should really take it out of the packet and display it, but maybe when I get my display properly, I'll take it out, but... I've got him chilling in the wrapping for the minute. Um, I absolutely love Terminator 2. It's my favourite Terminator movie. And I, I just couldn't resist. Uh, it's the um, T-800. So it's Arnie. Uh, I think you can replace his head. Like with one of him, you know, without shades. I mean, it doesn't do it justice, me showing you it on this. It's proper cool though. He's got a, a gun though as well. <laughs> so yeah, I just couldn't resist. Um, I should get... Um, I need to grab the other ones really. I should grab the, you know, the one from the first movie and T1000 and all that. I should grab them to be honest, to display with it. Um, this I got for just a pound from a charity shop. Nice little sack boy from Little Big Planet. I was, um, I was amazed by Little Big Planet when it first came out on the PS3. I absolutely loved it. I created my own Resident Evil level actually. <laughs> um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Uh, I got this from game ages ago. I got one for me and one for Hannah. I don't know if I've already showed you guys I'm I might have done but I don't know if I have so I'm just I'm just showing you again <laughs> The crasher extra life box and you can also get TNT and nitro ones So that'd be cool to grab them and uh, have them in the collection Um, I did I was using this for a bit But the thing is like when other people in the house are doing the washing up they're not careful enough and they don't realize like you know it's a bit of a collector's item or you know just something that you should treat you know with a lot of respect and just handle with care and you can see it's a little bit chipped there and when i saw that i was like oh i was like i just can't leave it in the kitchen i just can't do it so i've just brought it upstairs to protect it <laughs> i just don't want it getting damaged any further